Today, before I get into the video, um, I want to go over another deck giveaway. Um, all you have to do in order to win this deck is go down into the description box, click on the link. It's going to take you to another website called Curious. Um, I do have a beginner course on there that I know is going to help out a lot of you guys. Um, so what I recommend doing is just sign up for the free trial and then kind of end it before the trial ends. This way you guys don't have to pay for anything. Um, and when you do that, make sure you comment done down below in the comments and I will give the deck to one lucky winner. So um, in order to do this trick, what you have to do is let's say you mixed up the deck and you had a spectator pick a card. So it can be any card. Let's say they were to pick this one. Um, in this case, I don't want to look at it. So I'm going to show you guys the card. Hopefully you guys can see it here. And all I want to do here is you guys can say stop. Let's say you were to say stop right there. All I want to do is stick your card, put it into the middle and leave it there. And then maybe I can cut out the deck a little bit and mix the card further into the deck. So uh, from here, I'm going to try and pick a card and hopefully it'll be yours. I'm just going to riffle down. Hopefully I stop. Guys, look, I have no pinky breaks. I'm going to riffle down. Let's say here, and at this point I'm going to flip over the card, and as you can see this isn't your card, but what I'm going to do is let's say I can take it, give it a little shake, and just like that you can see your card has changed. So this is uh, the trick guys, hope you guys like it, and don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. Alright, so hopefully you guys like the performance, uh, don't forget to do the deck giveaway, uh, but anyways this is how you're going to be able to do the trick. So as you can see it was pretty simple. Um, basically all you have to do is, let's say, you give the deck to a spectator and they can shuffle it up. Um, it's a completely random deck so it doesn't really matter about the order. Um, and you have them pick any card that they like. So it can be a random one and let's say in this case they have the King of Spades. So um, all you have to do here is whatever method you want to do, you can put their card in the middle, control it back to the top. That is the basic idea. All I did in the performance was they had their card, they said stop wherever they wanted to, I'm leaving it in the middle, you can show it to them, and then from here you're going to dribble the cards, kind of not on top of the deck because obviously you want to get a pinky break, but what you have to do is you dribble it kind of so where the top half of the deck, as you can see here in my right hand, dribbles down and it's going to land like this. So as you can see when you dribble the cards down, from this point you can pick up the cards from where they're out jogged and transfer it to a thumb break and then you can cut the cards down bringing that selected card to the top and then from here you can go through spread the deck and say look I'm gonna go through and pick this card here and this one should be your card and then you can show it to the spectator and as they're looking at it you flip it over as you can see it's not their card while they're looking at this card that is not theirs you push over the top card pull it back catch a break and from here you say you know what uh, well considering this isn't your card and all you have to do is put it back on top of the deck and leave it flush so you, this way you have a pinky break here you pick it up from the break and you tilt the card if you're right handed you tilt it kind of to the right so you have your thumb on the bottom right corner and your middle finger on the top left so you're holding the card this way you can grip it with your thumb, middle, and then you're going to be using your index here to swivel the card just like that. So it's pretty simple. You shake the card and at the same time you're shaking it, you are just turning it over like that. So pretty simple. Shake it, twist it, and that's basically uh, the end of the trick. You can show it to the spectator. And uh, I hope you guys like it. And as always, thank you. to an Instagram account guys this is going to be such a simple deck giveaway all you have to do is click on the link and follow the account it's going to be all about this really cute dog it's a corgi his name is Peaches you guys have to make sure you follow the account okay it takes literally two seconds and I'm going to be picking from the newest followers on that account but make sure you can comment done when you have done so so it does make it a little bit easier guys and you'll be getting this um, unopened black deck of bicycle cards so make sure you guys do that and anyways guys here is the video all right guys so today i'm going to be showing you a, a really cool trick using just one deck of cards it's going to be impromptu so you can do it um, using a borrowed deck and anyways guys it's going to be a little bit more difficult than most of the tricks that i've been posting 
Um, anyways, here's what it's gonna look like. All right, so to start off the trick, what you could do is have the spectator shuffle up the deck like this, and then you can have them tell you when to stop. Let's say they said stop here. It is a completely random selection. Let's say they stopped you at the nine of diamonds. So remember the nine. Uh, what we're gonna do here is place their card in between two cards of this deck, and let's say you place it in between the two eights. It's pretty simple to remember. We have the eight of clubs and the eight of hearts. So let's go ahead. We'll take your packet and let's leave it on the table over here. Your card is face down um, in the middle of that packet in between the two eights. So let's say uh, we go ahead and we pick another card. Uh, you can just say stop whenever you want. And let's say you wanted to pick the king of hearts, for example. You could have picked the ace, the two, the five, really any card that you wanted to. And uh, keep in mind, we have two selections here. We have your card, which is in this pile, and then we have the king, which you just now selected. And what we should do here is take the cards. So we take the first packet that you had, and we can spread it open. And I can show you that in between the two eights, your selection sort of switched. And now we have the second card, the king of hearts, in between the two eights. So this is the trick, guys. Hope you guys like it, and don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. Okay, so um, this trick is going to be impromptu, so all you need is just a regular deck of cards. Um, I'm not going to be going too much in detail with the really easy moves, just considering this is a slightly more advanced than most of the tricks I have on here, so I don't want to bore you guys to death um, by just saying the same thing. So, um, basically, you could start it off, you could have the spectator shuffle the deck, you can take it back, and you can riffle down the side, have them tell you when to stop and it's a completely random choice and what you're doing is you're picking up the cards where they say stop and you're fanning them out flipping over the next card in this case we have the three of diamonds so you have the spectator remember the three um, it might be easier to do this trick with two spectators just because you are picking two different cards uh, but anyways guys you have them remember the three and you say okay um, I'm gonna go ahead and take your card and place it in between two of these cards in this pile so what you're doing is you're kind of putting their card towards this side of the fan and let's say you put it in between the jack and the three so you tell your spectators uh, remember the jack and the three because at the end of the trick um, they're going to be you need to have them remember them because you're the spectators card is going to be in between those cards um, at the end of the trick so you place their selection you show them they have the three in between those cards you close up the fan, leaving their card out jogged, and you push down on their card like this, catch a small pinky break, or a small thumb break here, and you take that packet from the break, and you give it to the spectator to hold on to, and you tell them that this is their card, or their packet with their card face down in between the uh, 10 and the three, but in reality, this is just a face up packet. So you have them hold on to it in their hands, so this way they can't see if the cards have actually lost a little bit of thickness. And their selection is really on top of the deck with a few face-up cards below it. So at this point, what you do is you flip over the deck, and you don't really say anything about it. And you say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and have you pick another card. And what you're doing is you're pulling down the bottom card here with your pinky, and you're swing-cutting the cards, leaving their card on the bottom so you just do a little swing cut leaving their card on the bottom of the deck pulling out the bottom the bottom deck here and leaving their card on the bottom and then from here you take this packet and you can say look go ahead and say stop so you're riffling or you're just sliding down a few cards and let's say they wanted to say stop here in this case you can tell them okay you want to pick the eight or the queen they pick the queen and you slide it off and when you slide it off you keep it in a pinky break so you can come back over and say like you could have picked um, the 10 if you wanted to and when you say the 10 you can move the top half of the deck over that way you can steal the queen as this deck or as these cards are in middle grip you move the thumb over you grip the bottom of the queen with your thumb and the top of it with your middle and you slide off the 10 and that way you have the queen on the top of this packet now so at this point keep going and you say okay look uh, you could have picked any card and then what you do is you move the cards from your right hand to the bottom of the deck and now what you've done is you've controlled their queen to the top and replaced it for the card that was there before so from here you you did have the deck face up you flip it back over so the cards are face down and you say go ahead and give me your packet back 
um, and you place it back on top of the deck and you say remember you picked um, a selection and you kind of remind them what their first card was and you remind them which cards was in between and from here as you can see there's a natural break when you place this packet back on the deck and what you do is you say okay look so I'm going to take your packet again and what you're doing is you're taking it from that natural break that was in the deck here so you take it from the natural break you spread the packet and say look remember look your card is still in between the jack and the three board and I snap my fingers your first selection switches for the second one and it switches just like that and the second selection goes in between the exact same cards you put it in from the beginning so um, it's a really nice trick guys it all comes full circle um, I hope you guys like it and as always thank you simple card trick um, involving these two red queens here and I'm just gonna leave them on the table for now and then what I have you do is let's say you can pick a card from the middle here you can see they're all face up you need to pick it up face up face down doesn't really matter let's say you want to pick face up so this way you can see your card it's completely random let's say the jack of spades this way you know I cannot force it on you in any way let's say we take the jack here place it in between the two red queens over here so I'll place it in between them so you guys can see it and then what I'm gonna do is go through and let's say I give the deck a little bit of a cut like this this way I can mix up the deck a little bit and then over here let's take your card a jack of spades put it in between the two red queens and I'll spin it three times just like that as you can see your card has actually vanished so there's not a jack in between these queens anymore and let's say we go through the deck over here and you can see there's one card face down in the middle and this is the jack of spades so this is the trick guys i hope you guys like it and don't forget to stick around for the tutorial all right so uh, don't worry the uh, deck giveaway that i did in the last video i'm still going through um the potential winners i actually got a lot of submissions so i'm just trying to make sure i'm going through and seeing um, the best possible option for that and anyways um to start off what you need to do is you have to make a double backed card so this is really simple um, sometimes these newer decks like the Theory 11 cards they come with a double backed card but this one I just made using the jokers in the deck so you just take a piece of double stick tape stick these two cards together and make a double backed card um, the next thing you want to do here is go over let's say you want to use the two queens in your trick so you can use any kind of two face cards but in this case I have the queens and basically on one of the queens you need to stick a piece of double stick tape on the card so as you can see right there you can kind of see the tape in the light so you don't have to worry about that tape showing this back here they're not going to see it um, and then what you do here is you take the double back card place that on top and then stick the two queens on top of the deck and make sure the card with the tape is on top of the deck so uh, from here you can tell the spectators you're going to be using these two queens and what I do here is I use the top queen to push over the queen under and then flip over the uh, top queen here so this way I have the double stick tape on the top so that way when, when you stick the card in between these two queens you're already set up so let's say you place the two queens off to the side and then you could have the spectator either pick the cards face down or you could have them pick them face up just make sure you don't spread all the way through to the double back card so uh, let's say you have them pick the cards face up and they pick any card that they want to and uh, the cool thing is you could have them sign it so that kind of makes the trick a little bit better but in this case, let's say you have them sign the card, they're signing it, they're not really looking at you. You're just going to take the top card and catch your pinky break and then leave their card. You say, okay, look, I'll take your card and place it in between the two red queens. So all I did there was place their card on top of the pinky break and then flip both of the cards over and saying, look, I'll place your card. And in reality, this is the double back card. And you say, look, I'll place it in between the two queens and you leave their card like this face down and just slightly drop the queen on top okay so this way they're in full view of their card and um, at this point what you're doing here is you're taking the cards and say look I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the deck and all I did there was push off the top card catch a pinky break like this and you're gonna be doing a reversal move so this is kind of difficult but I'm gonna go slowly you take the card you transfer this whole thing to a thumb break leaving their card like this and you're doing an undercut with your pinky, so you're peeling off a portion of the bottom cards, and then you're moving that to the top, leaving that on the break, just like this. And then from here, you do the exact same thing, taking the cards from the break, 
moving that to the top. So in reality, what you've done here is you've moved or you just switched their card, leaving it to the only face down card. And then I did a one handed cut and I'll leave a link on the screen so you can do that. So now their card is in the middle of the deck. And then from here, what you can do is you pick up the three card packet over here and you kind of just square it up so you make sure all the edges are just kind of lined up. And then as an excuse to press the cards together, this way the cards will stick between the double stick tape. You tell the spectator you're going to twist the cards three times through your fingers and this way you can apply pressure. And then when you spread the cards, the uh, double back card is now attached to the queen. So you kind of just briefly show it to them that their card has disappeared and you throw the queens on the table like this and you can come over to the deck on the left and if you want you can just spread it out and show them there's one card now in the middle that is the only card that's face down you can just take it out and you show to them that it is their card so like i said before uh the ending is going to be a little bit better if you do have the card signed because then it really looks like the card did transport uh, but anyways guys this is a trick i hope you guys like it and as always <laughs>